in this video we are specifically looking at adding adjustment layers to any different layer in our layer palette so in the last video we talked about putting these three things together in this one we're going to talk about putting adjustments to either all of these together or individually so to start off here what you guys should already know is if we go up to our adjustment panel and we click on one of these it's going to add an adjustment up here it's going to automatically put a mask with it but it's all white which means this whole thing is going to be active and when I make a change it's going to affect all of this stuff now here's what you need to know in a, a, an adjustment layer affects every level or every layer underneath it so here's what you may not have known you can move these things up and down I'm gonna move it down underneath the eyes now keep in mind that right now it affects everything but watch what happens when I move it down underneath the eyes now the eyes look like they were if I make this change the eyes stay the same it's only affecting the sunset the waterscape and the girl in the water photo let's say I only wanted to affect the background copy which is the waterscape move this down watch what happens when I make the change now the pool water and the grill don't change the eyes don't change it's only the waterscape so my point when you guys add an adjustment layer any of these adjustments up here it's only going to affect the ones underneath it and you can move this thing up and down to determine that All right, so that's the first part I'm gonna get rid of this and then let's assume let's assume that we only want to do something to the eyes well the eyes are on top so if I do any of this stuff it's going to affect everything under this. So I'm going to show you how you can only affect the eyes if you want to with one of these adjustment layers. Go up to where it says adjustments, move straight to the right, and you'll see a little triangle. It's essentially an arrow with some lines. And that really is just a little symbol to stand for a drop down menu. Way down towards the bottom, you see something that says clip to layer. We want to click that. And what that's going to do, if I hit this again, is going to put a check mark by clip to layer. We want that check mark there. Now, when I choose something, and I'm going to choose black and white just to make a point here, when I click on black and white and I'm going to tint the eyes, notice that none of this stuff turned black and white. The eyes already were, so we can't really see that yet. We're going to check mark tint. Now you see that only the eyes change, nothing else. Now what's different? If you notice now there's this little arrow pointing down to the photo that it's affecting or the piece that it's affecting. It's not affecting the water girl or the background copy. Why? Because up here I check marked clip to layer. Now it's not in there right now because I'm not in my adjustment panel. But down here we've got clip to layer checked so anytime I click these it's only going to affect the layer that I initially had highlighted okay so I can make any change to this I want it's only going to impact the one layer that I was selected on when I clicked on one of these okay so I could do each one of these individually clicking on water girl let's say I want to make a levels adjustment change when I make this adjustment it's only going to affect the pool water and the girl it's not going to affect the waterscape or the eyes just her why again because I have this check marked now let's say I decide you know what I don't like all these colors it's just got too many colors in it well I could add a black and white layer then if I wanted to make this whole thing black and white. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, 
if I want to affect the whole thing, all of these layers, I would have to go back to this. Oops. I've got to back up here. I've got to go back to this drop down menu. Now uncheck clip to layer. I'm going to pick a black and white adjustment layer. And I have to be on the top, by the way. When I click this, it's going to add a brand new black and white adjustment layer above all these. And now you notice the entire photo turns black and white. It's affecting every single layer underneath it. Okay? If I shut that off, it's just going to look like it did. So that's how you can affect either all your layers with an adjustment layer, or you can impact only one at a time.